Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and happy St. Patrick's Day! Today we're going to make some super cute little shamrock earrings and a ring. What you're going to need for this project are your flat pliers, your cutters, you're going to need earring hooks for the earrings, or a ring cone for the ring. I have 18 gauge wire for the ring, and for the shamrock we need 24 gauge wire. I have nine four millimeter round miracle beads and one tiny little bugle bead. So you just need about a five or six inch piece of 24 gauge wire and you'll start by putting three beads on there. These are the four millimeter miracle beads and just put them down to about the middle of your wire and then what you want to do is just bend these around sort of in a triangular shape and then just make sure it's like tightly together and then put this wire through that wire so we have one going each direction and then what you're going to do is just tighten it up if you need to you can hold the end with the with the flat pliers and just really tighten it up so then from there we want to do our next round just bend it up about a quarter inch away from the edge maybe a little bit less and then we're going to stick three more beads on there. So we're going to make like our little triangle here and then we're going to put this one through here. Hold it firmly in your hand and then just pull that one out. So we have our little our little triangle there. And then if you have to pull it a little tighter just use that to pull it tighter. So now we're going to do the same thing here. Bend it up at about an eighth to a quarter inch and we're just going to put our three more beads. The first bead just goes to the right of the corner and then these ones are going to kind of go around the top of that bead. We'll take this wire and put it back through the hole and then hold it firmly and bring that one through there. So there we have our three triangles and then what we want to do make sure it's nice and like firmly pulled in and then this one we're going to bring it towards the middle and then just give it a little bit of a jog down. If you need your pointy round pliers just take these and just push it down on a bit of an angle there and then take this one and wind it around. Just wind it like that and then we're going to cut it flush in there. So just really cut it flush and get that little end tucked in and then we're going to take the bugle bead and put it on the end. So we're just going to push that right up to the top and then pull it snugly, bend it right to the back, around to the back and then just to make it more solid hold it and wind it around the top of the bugle bead. Give it a little snip. And there you have, that's pretty well it for the, for the shamrock. And then you can add some earring hooks. So we'll just take the earring hook and we'll just loop it onto the top, close it up. And there you have your super cute little shamrock earrings. If you want the earrings to be more fancy, you can just take a piece of 20 gauge wire, cut it flush on the end, and then just do a little loop just like that and then just take your shamrock and put it in the loop here and close that end and then you can fill it up with whatever beads that you want. I like to intersperse it with a little bit of the metallic beads. It looks really cute and we're just going to fill it up with a few beads to make them more fancy, a little bit dangly. I love these little faceted beads. So once you're happy with your configuration of beads, just keep in mind which direction this has to go for your hook. Hold this in place, cut that to 3 8 to half an inch, take your round pliers, bend it back and around. Just keep it like super simple. Close your loop, flatten it a bit if you have to, and then get your earring hook and open it up. Just stick that on there. Make sure it's in the right direction. That wire should be to the back so we'll just flip it over and then we have our 
much more fancy shamrock earring. To make the ring, it's super easy. Just take about a two to three inch piece of 18 gauge wire and wind it around your ring cone about the height that you want. And then you're going to just measure this to see where you need to bend the edges. And we'll just take our round pliers and bend one edge up. And then the same thing over here, wherever you need the other bend, just bend it straight up. If these are too long, just give them a little bit of a trim so they don't get in the way. And then you can also like make sure they're like pointing straight up. So we'll just take the shamrock and put one of the wires through that side. And then on the other side, we're just going to put it through there. You might want to make sure there's a little bit of slack in there so the 18 gauge wire can fit. And then just take your pliers and bend this around spin the wire around like that and then you can trim it to how you want it so just cut it in there flush and the same thing here if you want to tighten up that loop a little bit you can and then just cut this flush in there and then you can get your flat pliers just to do the little final adjusting push it down a little bit on this side too just put it flat in there and then always I take my ring cone and put it back on there to adjust the size and there you have your super cute little shamrock ring thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And we'll see you the next time.